What's up guys, Legomation Studio here with another Bionicle Classic review of the Toa Metro, Toa, you know, Metro Nui 2004 line. Today, we'll be taking a look at Mr. Dark Hunter Nidiki, Lee Khan's main villain, main enemy. But alright, enough of the talk chatter. So, as I talked about in Cracker Review, I don't have all the Metro Nui sets besides the Titans, so not complete collections here and there. I also do not have the box for Nidhiki, but that saves a lot of extra time for this review, so we can just go ahead and talk about the set. Don't know how many pieces, don't know the age rate, but who cares, we like the set. Storyline-wise, as you might know, Nidhiki used to be a Toa, he was friends with Leocon, they worked side by side and then he decided to betray him for Makuta and he became a dark hunter, changing from a Toa to a cool spider crab-like villain. And I loved the look of this guy. Um, uh, he kind of has the crab spider looking uh, bit to him. We'll just head on and look at his many functions as I'm already displaying here and uh, the build. So, at the top, we have a Vaki face, so it wasn't very original, but they just re-released one of the Vaki heads for his head. But it's okay, because um, I think it works well with his body. Uh, we were given a darker face, um, a darker head, than what we were given with the other Vaki. Um, we were given a green, clear uh, back head. And uh, the disc, as we can see here, I believe this disc came with Nidiki uh, specifically. I don't know for sure. Post in the comment section below, was this disc special for Nidiki only? Don't exactly know for sure. Alright. The chest, we can see here, we are given a Bora call hand for the chest on the front. Some Technic parts. Um, a Toa Metru body and waist piece here. Um, we are given also a Matoran body and uh, Rakshi... Uh, function piece here to kind of connect his body to his uh, leg build. Um, given a double joint piece here, a double leg joint piece here, some Tometru armor, some Borakal eyes. On the back, we are also given those coat hanger pieces, as you can see, that connected him to the actual torso. Then we can head on to the legs. Let me just pop his body off here. Ah! Come on, don't break. You hear that? That's a scary sound. Alright, I think we're good. Alright. The leg build, it was pretty simple. We had some Technic pieces that were placed. We got four, or actually, wait, six, that were crossed from each other. In between, we were able to attach Toa Metru feet that were of the color Nidhiki, this kind of dark green color. The legs, um, all four are the same, just made built in opposite. We are given, you know, a Technic piece, Toa Metru armor, um, a nice piston here that attaches to um, the weapons that we were introduced in 2003 with Makuta and uh, Takanuva as his kind of legs, and they could snap back and forth to get him into a flying position, which I'll demonstrate very soon. But the leg build was silver and green, very cool, and then we had two pieces here that we could attach his actual body to, like so. Let me just snap him back on there. Alright, so really awesome. The arms are a uh, Rakshi limb piece attached to a, another two-piece Technic build. Um, we're actually given uh, black Borok eyes that when snapped back, like so, you can kind of have the claws open and close and they make a cool snapping sound. So really cool kind of function there. Because Nidhiki, as you know, throughout the movie of uh, uh, Legends of Metro Nui, would snap like so and uh, grab things. He could grab things very easily. Let's get Turakaduma out here. Yep, he can grab him, hold him around, then let go of him and drop him. Yeah, really cool function there. So, but as you know, like the uh, Rakshi, by folding his legs in like so, boom, boom. Boom, boom, and then having them go forward like that, he could actually put his arms down like this and levitate, and he could fly. I believe, I didn't say this in the Kreka review, but Kreka could do this as well by putting his legs forward. I don't know what it was with levitation by putting your legs forward kind of thing, but that's what they could do. 
Kind of reminds me of the build of the Usanui that we got in 2003 with Takanuva, the way they fold back up and you can fly. Of course, this is an actual, you know, being, not a vehicle. So, really cool, but of course, I prefer having him stand up with his four crab-like, spider-like legs, like so. Very awesome, very cool, and very threatening and menacing looking. So, awesome. Alright. His main color scheme is just green, silver, and black. Kind of the opposite of the navy blue and white that we were given with Krekka. So, this villain really stood out amongst the rest. He didn't look the same as anything we'd been given in Bionicle before, which was very cool. And I've got to say, I do absolutely love Nidiki. He was the smarter of the Krek and Nidiki duo. He was able to, you know, get um, some work done until Turagaduma, a.k.a. Makuta Teradax, but, you know, we didn't know that during the movie until the end, uh, did not like the way Krekka and Nidiki were working, and so he crushed them up and was able to use their pieces in order to build an ultimate Makuta figure, which we find out later. Now, there is... A combination model that we can put together to build the actual Turagaduma. I never bought that and I don't think I'm going to build it because I don't want to break these pieces so don't expect that review just yet. So but Nidhiki overall. I like Nidhiki. Post in the comment section below are you a Krekka fan or a Nidhiki fan? If I were to rate Nidhiki I would give him a 5 out of 5 10 out of 10, because I liked him more than Krekka. If I were to choose between them, I'd say, not because Krekka's dumb, but because of the actual build. I think, you know, Nidiki was so different and revolutionary for Bionicle, um, and they continued to copy this build throughout with, like, Vizon and Cardax, and, if is that his name? And then, um, you know, furthermore moved on to, like, you know, the later Glatorian figures and sets and stuff, too. The whole four-leg thing became more popular. But the point is, is at the time, this was a very cool build, very unique, so I give it a 5 out of 5. Thanks for watching this Bionicle Classic Review. Next, we will be taking a look at Nevok the Bird and Tarakaduma. But until then, we'll see you guys later with more reviews of Bionicle Classics. And this is Legomation Studio, signing out. Do a little dance, shake a little ass. Get down tonight. Oh, oh, get down tonight. Ah, I'm ripping his pieces apart. Okay, you can stop recording. <laughs>